O ye! In chosen fellowship advanced to the great supper of the blessed Lamb, whereon who feeds hath every wish fulfilled. If to this man through God's grace be vouchsafed foretaste of that, which from your table falls, or ever death his fated term prescribe, be ye not heedless of his urgent will, but may some influence of your sacred dues sprinkle him. Of the fount ye alway drink, whence flows what most he craves. Beatrice spake, and the rejoicing spirits, like to spheres on firm set poles revolving, trail the blaze of comet splendor, and his wheels, that wind their circles in the horologe, so work the stated rounds, that to th observant I the first seems still, and, as it flew, the last, e'en thus their carols weaving variously, they by the measure pocked, or swift, or slow, made me to rate the riches of their joy. From that, which I did note in beauty most excelling, saw I issue forth a flame so bright, as none was left more goodly there. Round Beatrice thrice it wheeled about, with so divine a song, that fancy's ear records it not, and the pen passeth on and leaves a blank, for that our mortal speech, nor e'en the inward shaping of the brain, hath colors fine enough to trace such folds. O oh, saintly sister mine! Thy prayer devout is with so vehement affection you are jeed, thou dost unbind me from that beauteous sphere. Such were the accents towards my lady breath from that blessed ardor, soon as it was stayed, to whom she thus, O everlasting light of him, within whose mighty grasp our Lord did leave the keys, which of this wondrous bliss he bare below. Tempt this man, as thou wilt, with lighter probe or deep, touching the faith, by the which thou didst on the billows walk. If he in love, in hope, and in belief, be steadfast, is not hid from thee, for thou hast there like can, where all things are beheld in liveliest portraiture. But since true faith has peopled this fair realm with citizens, meet is, that to exalt its glory more, thou and his audience shouldst thereof discourse. Like to the bachelor, who arms himself, and speaks not, till the master have propoed the question, to approve, and not to end it, so I, in silence, armed me, while she spake, summoning up each argument to aid, as was behoofful for such questioner, and such profession, as good Christian ought, declare thee, what is faith? Whereat I riced my forehead to the light, whence this had breath, then turned to Beatrice, and in her looks approval met, that from their inmost found I should unlock the waters. May the grace, that giveth me the captain of the church for confessor, said I, about safe to me apt utterance for my thoughts, then added, Sire. Ian is set down by the unerring style of thy dear brother, who with thee conspired to bring Rome in unto the way of life, faith of things hopped as substance, and the proof of things not seen, and herein doth consist methinks its essence, rightly hast thou deemed, was answered, if thou well discern, why first he hath defended, substance, and then proof. The deep things, I replied, which here I scan distinctly, are below from mortal eye so hidden, they have in belief alone their being, on which credence hope sublime is built, and therefore substance it intends. And inasmuch as we must needs infer from such belief our reasoning, all respect to other view excluded, hence of proof th intention is derived. Forthwith I heard, if thus, whatever by learning men attain, were understood, the sophist would want room to exercise his wit. So breath the flame of love, then added, current is the coin thou utterst, both in weight and in alloy. But tell me, if thou hast it in thy purse. Even so glittering and so round, said I, I not a whit missed out of its assay. Next issued from the deep embosomed splendor, say, whence the costly jewel, on the which is founded every virtue, came to thee. The flood, I answered, from the Spirit of God rained down upon the ancient bond and new, here is the reasoning, that convinceth me so feelingly, each argument beside seems blunt and forceless in comparison. Then heard I, wherefore holdest thou that each, the elder proposition and the new, which so persuade thee, are the voice of he then? The works, that followed, evidence their truth, I answered, nature did not make for these the iron hot, or on her anvil mold them. Who voucheth to thee of the works themselves, was the reply, that they in very deed are that they purport? None hath sworn so to thee. That all the world, said I, should have been turned to Christian, and no miracle been wrought, would in itself be such a miracle, the rest were not an hundredth part so great. E'en thou wentst forth in poverty and hunger to set the goodly plant, that from the vine it once was, now is grown unsightly bramble. That ended, through the high celestial court resounded all the spheres. 
Praise we one God. In song of most unearthly melody. And when that worthy thus, from branch to branch, examining, had led me, that we now approach the topmost bough, he straight resumed, the grace, that holds sweet dalliance with thy soul, so far discreetly hath thy lips unclosed that, whatsoever is past them, I commend. Behooves thee to express, what thou believest, the next, and whereon thy belief hath grown. O saintly sire in spirit! I began, who sayest that, which thou didst so believe, as to outstrip feet younger than thine own, toward the sepulchre? Thy will is here, that I the tenor of my creed unfold, and thou the cause of it hast likewise asked. And I reply, I in one God believe, one sole eternal Godhead, of whose love all he then is immovied, himself unmoved the while. Nor demonstration physical alone, or more intelligential and abstruse, persuades me to this faith, but from that truth it cometh to me rather, which is shed through Moses, the rapt prophets, and the Psalms. The Gospel, and that ye yourselves did right, when ye were gifted of the Holy Ghost. In three eternal persons I believe, essence threefold in one, mysterious league of union absolute, which, many a time, the word of Gospel lore upon my mind imprints, and from this germ, this firstling spark, the lively flame dilates, and like he a star doth glitter in me. As the master hears, well pleased, and then enfoldeth in his arms the servant, who hath joyful tidings brought, and having told the Aaron keeps his peace, thus benediction uttering with song soon as my peace I held, compassed me thrice the apostolic radiance, whose behest had op lips, so well their answer pleased, 